Welcome back to this channel. Today, I continue explaining the movie Fists of Fury released in the year 1972 and attacks the Japanese men and also breaks the notice board. Seeing this, the guard blows the whistle to call for backup, but the bystanders who witness the commotion save Chen and help him escape the scene, then shifts to Jingwu School, where Yoshida and Wu, along with their men, enter the school and immediately start attacking the students practicing there. Though Fen tries to stop them, the bad guys ignore him and continue trashing the place as Yoshida takes out. Ho's photo to destroy it Shu the third eldest student of Jing Wu snatches it from him and saves it from getting destroyed after the commotion Wu backed by the Japanese students warns Fan and Jing Wu school to hand over Chen to them within three days moments after Yashai and Wu leave with their men Chen arrives there and is taken aback to see the carnage around the school after knowing that Chen is the one responsible for the situation Fan yells at him and suggests he leaves Shanghai before Suzuki's men kill him at first Chen. Refuses to leave, but when Yuan and Fan approach him and make it clear that they do not blame him for what happened he agrees later at night Yuan approaches a distraught Chen and asks him to take some rest before leaving the next day Chen however expresses his love for Yuan and then suggests she go to sleep as she has some important work to finish without saying anything Yuan leaves Chen alone and goes to sleep soon Chen. Hears a noise coming from the other side of the building and decides to. Follow it to his surprise he finds Tian and Fen Wishi, the caretaker of the Jingwu school discussing how Tian killed Ho by poisoning his food as soon as Chen hears this he gets enraged and confronts the duo in no time a brutal fight erupts which ends with Chen killing both the villains with his powerful punches the next morning Fan finds a letter from Chen beside his bed which mentions that he will go after the men behind Ho's murder and take revenge soon Fan is called downstairs where the Students inform him that Tian and Feng have been found dead and their bodies are hanging on the nearby lamppost realizing that Chen killed the duo he assumes Chen is still in Shanghai and asks his students to search for him in the next scene Chen is sitting beside Ho's grave and having some grilled meat at the same time Moon arrives there and confronts him asking him to reveal his motives and further plans Chen however refuses to tell anything and mentions that he does not want to involve her in all this after this Chen and Yuan share a beautiful moment where they remember their childhood life and promise to spend the rest of their lives together the next day Wu and Yoshida visit Suzuki and inform him about the deaths of Tian and Feng here it's revealed that Tian and Feng were actually their men who were pretending to be Chinese and leaking Jing Wu's critical information enraged Suzuki expresses his plans to attack the Jing Wu school again, but Wu suggests they instead inform the Police and let them handle the situation following this a local police officer Inspector Lo approaches Jingwu school and gives Fan and the others an ultimatum of three days to find and hand over Chen to them, he also mentions that if they fail to do so they will not only lose the school, but also be taken into custody for assisting Chen at night Wu can be seen enjoying his time with Suzuki Yoshida and Petrov Suzuki's friend from Russia. After having a drink challenge with Petrov Wu leaves the Place when he exits the building and approaches a cart pulling man for a ride the man is revealed to be Chen but as Wu is drunk out of his mind he fails to recognize Chen and gets on the cart soon Chen brings him to a lonely street and beats him to death after the latter reveals that Suzuki is the one who devised the plan to kill Ho Chen then hangs Wu's body from the same lamppost where he hanged Tian and phoned the news of Wu's death reaches Suzuki and he threatens Inspector Lo to take action. Against Chen and Jing Wu school he also mentions that if Lo fails to do anything he will talk to the upper class officers and throw Lo out of his position after Lo leaves Yoshida approaches Suzuki and suggests they attack Jing Wu and finish all the students present there Suzuki agrees to it. Follow the story of this movie in the next video on this channel.